Hey there, I'm here to show a little bit of comparison between the HS35 and the HS40. HS35 being a carbonite gear, more professional servo, and the HS40 is going to be your nylon gear, uh, what they call an economy servo. Size difference, just a little bit bigger than the HS35. I believe it's actually the same motor, same size gear train, so the torque is almost identical. Uh, centering is super impressive on both of them. Uh, speed, I cannot tell a difference, and you'll see what I'm talking about here, but I'll I'll show you a quick demonstration of the centering, the speed, and the torque here, so without further ado. The slop is almost unheard of for an economy servo. Uh, almost feels like there's none. Can't say a whole lot about the HS35 either. I'm quite blown away from the results I'm seeing here. Torque wise, uh, if you look at the specs, the HS35 I believe is running 11 ounces of torque at 6 volts or 11.11 .11, and then the HS40 is running about 10 ounces at 6 volts. Um, to me I haven't really seen a whole lot of difference but the real test is going to be putting it in the foamy here and uh, you know seeing how it flies because I've flown the HS35 countless times uh, in different foamies but I have yet to see what the HS40 will do and I'm, I'm actually quite excited to see because uh, it's a great affordable alternative for somebody getting into this style of uh, style of flying or they just need a, a cheap servo to put into a uh, into an aircraft that they're getting ready, um, you know. For I, the price goes for twenty four ninety nine or twenty four ninety nine for the HS thirty five, and then the HS forty goes for a whopping nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Um, so that's kind of why I'm I'm so ecstatic about this new servo. So we'll see how this uh, turns out. Stay tuned for the flying video.